Here is a wise virgin from among the number of the prudent, who went forth with the lightning lamp to meet Christ. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And we welcome you this evening as we celebrate the third Wednesday in Easter, and also the feast of St. Catherine of Siena, a virgin and doctor of the church, who ultimately, in her faith, found the non-believers and helping to convert them to the faith and as well in convincing the Holy Father at the time to move back from Avion to Rome. And so, brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us take a moment to call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you are Lord made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And we offer the Mass this evening for the repose of the soul of Joe Rivas, husband of Florence Rivas, as well as we also remember John C. Ferry. Let us pray. O oh God, who sent St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service of your church, grant through her intercession that your people participating in the mystery of Christ may he ever exalt in the revelation of his glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And let us listen to the word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging out men and women. He handed them, he handed them, handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. When they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits crying out in a loud voice came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let, Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Everyone who 
believes in the Son has eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Who comes down, who comes to me, will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me. And I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are reminded that we are forever in the hands of the Lord, and that as he is the key to our eternal life, that he promises that those who know him those who come to him will be remembered. And so as we look and hear throughout scripture, many brave folks, those who made some very strong in their faith throughout, and others who found great conversion in this time, that of St. Paul, and that, and knowing that in the beginning he persecuted Christians, the very people, and helping to get St. Stephen stone, and ultimately even in persecuting Philip, but later, in following through the power of the Lord, he had a great conversion, was one of the greatest proclaimers of the faith for all. And that, as Philip as well, then, in being persecuted, left Jerusalem and journeyed off to Samaria. That ultimately it is because of his great faith and entering into the city, which once was very contrary to the Jewish faith, and that in a sense they were enemies or not. Speaking in terms that they became a joyful city, one of great faith through the help of Philip. And so both of these, with great bravery, continued in proclaiming the gospel of the Lord. And so we all need to obtain eternal life. We all need to come to know that our encounter with Jesus is that which truly fulfills us and gives us the very life that, as Jesus says, that I am the bread of life, that those who come to me will never die. And that's in doing so, that we are forever always in the hands of the Lord, knowing with great strength and power that while we may at times be exiled or even persecuted in this life by family or friends or our community, that we truly are a friend of the Lord that we are brothers and sisters in Christ as sons and daughters. And that while we may be scattered from our homes, we may, especially in this time, be restricted to keeping amongst ourselves rather than congregating among the community. But we are forever, whether in our homes or in our community, that those who trust will not be lost. And so we are forever in the hands of the key to our eternal life, that of a life with the Lord, that ultimately in our relationship with Him, in our very prayers, in our blessings, 
and is a deeper relationship with God and His love that He gives. And we are reminded that He died for our sins. And ultimately, it is through that that brings us the renewal in the heavenly kingdom and that of the eternal life to come. He said, Vemos, esto porque este mismo Jesús nos ha dado a sí mismo, a sí mismo, a su cuerpo y su sangre, cuando dice, yo soy el pan de la vida, el que viene, a mí no tendrá hambre, y el que cree en mí nunca tendrá sed, el pan de vida y la copa de salvación que se nos ofrece en cada misa a través de la Eucaristia que recibimos. Se ofrece para que nosotros, como Felipe, que fuimos a Samaria, podamos predicar una palabra de paz, expulsar demonios de oído y cenar a los afectados por la solidad por que creemos. And so we do not know whether or not that the persecution of ultimately led Philip out of Jerusalem and into Samaria. But what we do know is that he brought great joy to the city, to the very gospel and throughout the community. And likewise with Saul and in many of the followers of Jesus, that in knowing in what part that they played in God's mission, ultimately in serving Him, and eventually it was revealed to them, the very call. And so what do we know is what God wants for us, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in Him will have eternal life. And so knowing this and letting us approach the Eucharist in a few moments, and receiving as we say amen, that I truly believe that it is the body and blood, soul and divinity of Christ, that this is the bread made from heaven that is given to us. And as the psalmist proclaims, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. And that as we celebrate today the very feast of St. Catherine of Siena, that her, her bravery as well brought many to the Lord in their very faith and ultimately in reuniting and bringing the church back to its an original creation, that which St. Peter found in Rome, that in bringing that renewal away from the division that was created during the times of persecution of Christians in Rome, and ultimately that of seeking to bring forth the unity of the church as one in Christ. And let us continue to seek, to praise the glory of God, and see how tremendous His very deeds are for us, as He as well calls us to great strength, to bravery, in our words, our actions, and proclaiming the very power and goodness of the Lord in all that we say and do, then our faithfulness to the Lord is that in modeling the very gift that the Lord gives us to nourish us and strengthen us and bring us to a bread of life in Him. As God uses his followers for his very good work in calling others to him, knowing that God the Father is loving and merciful, he gives us great strength and as we call upon him, asking him to, for our needs, 
our prayers and petitions for ourselves and those throughout the world. For all Catholic missionaries, may God continue to give them great strength and courage to proclaim the very word and bringing others in a greater understanding of God's love and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers. And for all judges and those who work in law enforcement, may God, the perfect judge, bless them with the gifts of wisdom, justice, and mercy, and bringing dignity and respect for all life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers. And for all those who are burdened with loneliness, infirmity, poverty, or lack of basic necessities, that through the help of the Lord and the generosity of others, that they may be provided for and given strength and peace and the joy of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. And for all the children throughout our community, may the Holy Spirit Continue to help them to grow in the grace, the knowledge, and wisdom of God and His saving power be nourished through the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. And for all those who have died, those who have gone before us, and we remember Joe Rivas, who this Mass is offered for, as well as for John C. Ferry, and all those that we hold close to our hearts and minds. that they may know the loving mercy and goodness of the Lord, an everlasting life for the glorious heavenly kingdom, seeing our Lord face to face, and rejoicing with the angels and saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. And we pray for those prayers that are in the silence of our hearts and minds. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God of all compassion, love, and mercy, you will eternal life for all those who you call your children and come to you. Listen to these our prayers as we offer them to you and grant them according to your will as we seek you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the wine of work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, this saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that instructed by her teachings, we may give evermore fervent thanks to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is and right and, and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save, save us, Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Robert our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Joe and John, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in hope the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace, the Lord, be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. In the name of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. As they as, Cordero de Dios, behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter in my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. If we walk in the light, as God is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his Son, Jesus Christ, cleanses us from all sin. Alleluia. And for those that aren't able to receive communion at this time, we invite you to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that thou art present in the blessed sacrament. I love thee above all things, and I desire thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As through you, thou art already there. I embrace thee and unite myself wholly to thee, permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May the heavenly table, and which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it has nourished the life of St. Catherine, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And just as a quick reminder that this Sunday we will have uh, parking lot mass again at St. Isidore in Abernathy. So we invite all to come. Please remain in your cars during the mass and then following the mass.